hey, thank you so much for joining me today. Are you ready for a powerful eclipse in Pisces? Well, ready or not, here it comes. <laughs> On September the 17th, 2024, we have a lunar eclipse. And chances are you've already been feeling the energy of this alignment. We can feel eclipses up to one month before they arrive and for approximately six months after. So in today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into what you can expect. And I've also broken it down by sign. So let's dive into this. Why is this eclipse such an important event? Well, first, eclipses always come in pairs. A lunar eclipse, which is a supercharged full moon, and a solar eclipse, an amplified new moon. This duo creates what's known as an eclipse season. We have two eclipse seasons a year and are about to enter the second for 2024. This will consist of a lunar eclipse in Pisces in the early hours of September the 17th or the 18th, depending on where you are in the world, and a solar eclipse in Libra on the 2nd of October, which means that both September and October will have a very similar energy. There will be a lot happening in a small amount of time as well, but it's most likely that um, because this is such an intense energy, energy, we won't recognize it till we look back on it and say late November. Then it's going to be, holy cow, how did this happen? So with that in mind, what can we do to prepare for this and what should we expect? Well, the easiest way to handle the eclipse season is to embrace the process and roll with the changes and stay open to the possibilities of the universe. And I know that sounds so simple, but when we're in the middle of it and all of the chaos, it can be very daunting. As we get closer to the eclipse, we're also going to feel restless and uh, antsy and maybe even a little bit anxious. Some signs will become a lot more emotional as well. Raising stress levels and tension can make you feel even more anxious about what's going on in certain sectors of your life, depending on what your sign is. And that's why I have broken it down by sign. So there is a mini reading if you want to jump to that. Be sure and read your sun, moon, and rising to get the full picture. But if we can relax and tap into our intuition during this eclipse, then we're going to see that we actually do have the answers. Everyone will experience a more intuitive knowing, and you're likely to become more thoughtful as well. You could be thinking about people and events from the past, and you may even have a longing to revisit childhood experiences. And there will be a pull to make changes as new information comes to the surface. And this could be empowering or it could be uncomfortable. The universe is calling us to surrender to these changes because they're happening, like it or not. That's the power of the eclipse. It may be time you put your foot down and end a toxic relationship or send out resumes because uh, your job is not paying you what you're worth or it could be something more along the lines of finally getting healthy and giving up a bad habit. The eclipse season is likely to bring an ending of some kind. So we may feel that a chapter has closed. And for some signs, especially Leo, this may be a time of celebration because it's been a rather rough chapter lately. The closing or the ending of this is something that uh, you're probably looking forward to. <laughs> October is likely to bring answers as well as new opportunities for it. We're going to have a lot of transformational energy working between endings and new opportunities, new beginnings, lots of changes, and like I say, in a small amount of time. The Pisces energy too is going to affect us on a deeper level because Pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac, which is the completion, the end of the cycle. So Pisces carries the knowledge of all 12 signs, but because it is such heavy energy, that is why Pisces struggle sometimes so much to move forward because all of these experiences, all of this knowledge, all of these emotions can be overpowering. Where we engage in activities or situations that drain us, steal our energy, or leave us feeling depleted is probably going to be highlighted. And we're going to see that we need to make better decisions to support ourselves rather than just going with the flow. So that could in itself be a very big transformation for a lot of the signs. And I do want to note because of this chaotic energy, craft work is not recommended during the eclipse. And that includes making moon water. Don't do it. Let's break down this powerful cosmic event by sign. What can Aries expect? Aries, this eclipse will highlight what's hidden from you. 
Your intuition will be strong and you'll be much more aware of subtle clues around you. Expect signs from the universe and messages from your guides as you receive more information around your current situation. While you may be energized by this energy, it could also trigger unhealed baggage from the past. For instance, did you rush into a situation, perhaps a new job or a love affair, because of something from your past? What was triggering this and what was triggering your decision-making process? Knowing what you know now, would you approach the situation differently? Use discernment, of course, but also get to the bottom of what's been hidden from you and then plan accordingly. This has been a year of transformation and personal growth for Aries, and you have the tools you need now to clear past baggage and move forward rapidly. Taurus, more changes and transformation are on the horizon for Taurus natives. Your emotions are more intense right now, but so is your intuition. This eclipse energy moves you to address what's causing you to feel uncomfortable at home, around work, or school. Do you feel like you have to tone yourself down to fit in? Or not share your opinion or beliefs because they may be negatively judged? And also, is it time to address issues around your current budget? or lack of. The lunar eclipse in Pisces puts focus on your finances, self-worth, and sense of security. This could bring you to a powerful turning point, urging you to review your relationship with money and what you value the most. Before you make any dramatic changes, think about the bigger picture as your choices can lead you to an entirely new path. Gemini, this eclipse can bring outstanding opportunities for success, achievement, and even fame. The key is, are you passionate about your current job or your current work placement? Have you been responsible and ethical? If so, then the sky's the limit when you're backed with this powerful eclipse energy. But if you've been less than committed and aren't really ethical about your current career choices, then you may have to work through some issues and make some tough decisions. Do you stay the course and handle your responsibilities and just keep doing what you're doing and feel like you're on the wheel of never-ending suffering? Or <laughs> do you bow out? Because it's never too late to change the path you're on and to move closer to something that actually gives your life meaning instead of just struggling with a dead-end job or a job that you just don't really care about. Like I say, it's never too late, but the key is you have to be honest with yourself. Do you see yourself committed to your current job or career for the next five years? If you don't, then it's time to make a change. You can find a fulfilling job or career that will empower you and that will showcase your talents and actually leave you happy and excited about going to work. So why settle for anything else? So that's going to be the big lesson for you with this powerful eclipse. Cancer. This powerful Pisces eclipse on the 17th will amplify your emotional energy and highlight your need to be your best, most authentic self. You're done limiting yourself, people pleasing, and putting everyone else's needs before your own. Cancer is known for their nurturing energy, but enough is enough. Listen to your intuition and give yourself more personal freedom and space to be your own person. It's very important right now that you commit to this. Take some time over the next few days to focus on what or who is is holding you back and what situations need to change. This has been a year of transformation for cancer and your journey continues as you connect with your intuition and inner wisdom during this eclipse. Oh, and by the way, cancer, who is your harshest critic? Could it be you? If so, it's time to release any habits, outdated thoughts, or situations that are no longer beneficial for you. Spend time alone in meditation or quiet contemplation. Your inner wisdom is already aware of the next steps you need to take. Focus on that inner guidance and make a commitment to yourself. Leo, you've seen so many changes this year, and now this eclipse moves you to face some deeper issues around your next steps towards your life goals. Eclipses are catalysts for change both in our personal lives and in the world at large, so you can expect changes around you on a global level as well as on a personal level, Leo. This energy may leave you rethinking your goals around work or relationships. By focusing on your challenges, you can rapidly sort out the real issues and move forward with clarity and focus because what you think the problem is may only be a symptom 
of a deeper issue. But with the clarity of this eclipse, you'll be able to get to the bottom of the true issue. And while this may be uncomfortable in the beginning, this is necessary work to achieve the changes you're longing for. Don't focus on what went wrong, Leo. Instead, be open to greater possibilities of growth. Trust these changes are moving you towards the life you've been dreaming about, and soon everything will fall into place. Virgo. During the eclipse, you focus on your relationships, commitments, and what they mean to you. What's going well and what needs work will likely be highlighted now, and it's time to let go of the old ways of doing and being and embrace who you are now. You've gone through many transformations, and yes, you're still a work in progress, Virgo, but you've made so much progress. You're fully supported by the universe now, and your intuition is spot on. If you can trust it and trust yourself, you will emerge from this eclipse as a better version of yourself. Break away from previous traditions and belief systems that no longer resonate with you. Be diplomatic, of course, but talk things through with supervisors, family or friends that have been pushing your boundaries or ignoring your feelings. Express yourself and draw new boundaries and be prepared to stand by them. These changes will lead you to the next step in your journey and your evolution of the best life ever. You're making great progress, Virgo. Libra, if you aren't happy with your daily life or career, this is a time when matters come to light. Things that have been brewing under the surface will not stay hidden under the eclipse. So if there is something going on in your relationship or something going on at work with a coworker, then this is the time they go from minor irritation to actual issues that need to be resolved. And while this may not feel comfortable, this is needed before things get any worse. This is also an important time to set clear goals on what you're going to do next, especially if you haven't been happy in a while. If you've been hesitant to explore new connections or financial collaborations, consider this as an opportunity. Libra needs to feel empowered by their career and relationships, and if you aren't, then things need to change. But do consider the bigger picture before you do anything rash or cut people out completely from your life. It would be better to have a plan rather than acting impulsively now. Rather than making those big edits, instead get to the bottom of what's really bothering you. Take time to sit in silence, meditate, journal, and work through these issues to better understand what's really wrong. And then you'll have the clarity and insight to move forward with determination and clarity. Scorpio, this eclipse leaves you feeling more open to love, romance, and the softer side of life. Make plans with loved ones and enjoy yourself all month long. The struggle is over and now you can relax and celebrate. You are inspired as your intuition is at an all-time high right now, and this is a great time to strengthen the spiritual connection you have with loved ones. Deep discussions about life, the universe, and what lies beyond are favored. Scorpio, it's likely you will move into a more teacher-type role with your family and friends. They will seek your advice and you will enjoy the deeper connections with them. You are the go-to person for all things esoteric now. While you're busy all September, this eclipse reminds you to make time for fun, hobbies, and creative projects. You're focused and inspired and anything you put your mind to will definitely be a success. So open yourself up to greater possibilities, adventures, and growth for all of September. Sagittarius, this is an emotional time for you, Sag. Your intuition and your emotions may seem at odds, but ultimately they're leading you to the same destination. You're craving a deeper connection with your loved ones. And because this is such a busy time for you, you'll probably need time alone to process and work through some of these feelings. The eclipse is a great time to take stock of your situation and ask yourself important questions such as who takes care of your needs and who can you count on? And if no one really seems to be stepping up or if you're not feeling emotionally supported, you may be extra sensitive and easily upset now. So rather than lash out, make an effort to take control of the situation, practice self-care, and work on expanding your support system. Dedicate more time to overall wellness too. But I mean, generally Sagittarius has been committed to a wellness routine for the last 18 months anyway, and you're doing great. You're making great strides. You're feeling better than you have in a long time. And that's really not an issue right now. Your physical health is probably better than it's been, like I say, in some time. But your emotional health, your emotional support, it's time to reach out to people and reconnect or 
forge bonds with newcomers. But you know that you're ready now. You're ready to open yourself up to more adventures, more social interaction, and just more fun. So enjoy yourself, Sag. Capricorn, the eclipse in Pisces can be very emotional and also very creative for you. You're going to be inspired. It's going to be really important that you note down your ideas because you're going to have too many to act on right now. And some of those are gold and you know they're gold, but you just can't do everything at once. So with these new ideas, you could also move forward on a plan to turn one of your hobbies into a side hustle or maybe even a full-time job. Be open to new ideas and new perceptions around work, wealth, and success. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing, Capricorn. You have a great work ethic, and maybe it's time that you try building something for yourself rather than working for someone. This is a time of endings and new beginnings, so you can also expect news and messages out of the blue. Overall, it's a good time for you. It's going to be intense, but it's good because, like I say, you're going to be bombarded by ideas and information, and they're gold. Aquarius, how's your relationship with money, wealth, and abundance? How about your relationship around success? How do you define success? And does it seem like suddenly it seems to be a moving target you can't hit? Could it be you have some habits around spending and savings that need your attention? Or are you settling for subpar payments for your services? This could especially be true if you don't trust yourself to financially support your needs. So the eclipse energy is likely to highlight these themes and the stress around everything financial. So if you're struggling with these issues, you could be forced to change your situation and it may be uncomfortable, but it is necessary. With these changes, you can then embrace abundance. So let go what no longer resonates with you and focus on what truly matters. And know that this transformation is necessary for the next step in your journey. You have so many plans, Aquarius, but you can't achieve them if you're struggling on a daily basis. Accept that you're worth so much more and roll with these changes. Pisces, welcome to your personal spiritual awakening. <laughs> Um, you're in the middle of leveling up right now, but you've been feeling these changes for some time, haven't you? Yeah, that that's that feeling that you've had probably for most of the year. This is what it is. Karma is at work with the eclipse in your personal sign, and you may now be able to achieve great gains in many areas of your life. So look at your life honestly, Pisces. What needs to change? Where do you feel the most out of control? That's likely the sector or the area where you're going to see highlighted energy now. So are you holding on to habits or untrue personal beliefs about yourself? Are you stuck in routines or maybe even toxic habits that you know you need to let go of. Well, the eclipse is going to highlight that and give you the push you need to let go and move on. And once you release these outdated versions of yourself and trust that this energy is clearing the way for a more spiritually aligned, healthier, and creative journey, life will become so much easier for you, Pisces. And it's been a struggle. It's been easier the last year. But if we look back five years, let's say, yeah, it's been a struggle and maybe even 10 years it's been a struggle for Pisces. You've had to really push through some emotional, financial, and health blocks. So now we see that you've been working through this. Things are happening. The eclipse is going to blow things up, but it's going to blow it up in a positive way if you can embrace your authentic self and release attachments to situations or people who drain you or stop you from being your best self. Then this could really mean positive changes for you. And yeah, it could be uncomfortable if you have to face situations that you've been avoiding, but you need to try Trust your intuition and know that these transformations are happening regardless of whether you want them to or not. There are for your best and highest good. They may feel uncomfortable, yes, but this is what moves you forward rapidly. The changes are happening. You just have to get out of the way and roll with them. And if you've been working on yourself or working on maybe releasing some habits or trying to be more healthy, this will be much easier. 
It's going to be a highly energetic time for you with lots of changes. But like I say, they're all good changes. They just may feel a little bit uncomfortable as you go through them. But overall, this is a time when Pisces really gets to start the next chapter in their life. And you get to do this on your own terms instead of it just kind of happening to you. No, now it's happening for you. I hope this video helps some and that um, you enjoyed these mini readings. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and also let me know your sign. And as always guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and uh, yeah, I have more videos in the queue so be sure and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll speak to you soon. Reiki blessings!